Hello guys, it's me Karthik. Hope you guys are doing really good. So I recently come across this uh, library called AvaJ, which is a compile time library for the JVM application. So basically Java based applications and these are the futures it is going to provide. We will see slowly. Okay. So uh, in this video, we are going to see about this config related part. Okay. So uh, basically how we can read from a configuration file. And and what are the smart features this Avaja library is providing and uh, different different scenarios we'll try to explore okay so I have a simple Java application here uh, which is a Maven based application and in this case I am using Java 17 guys and also keep in mind Avaja will only work for the Java 11 and Abo. okay so in order to use this you need to get the uh, avaj config library okay so this is the avaj config uh, library and the latest version is 3.7 okay so let's use the latest version okay so yeah let me copy paste this and you don't need to worry about the source code guys because i'm already uploading everything into this particular uh, repo i'm going to put that into the uh, description as well yeah so here I am going to add dependencies and then I have added the dependency which is my latest dependency okay then uh, in your folder go to the resources and create a file let's say like application dot properties it can be a properties file or it can be a yaml file as well not a big deal anything um, uh, is fine for avaj it will automatically scan uh, there were a couple of ways of defining this configuration file probably we'll see them in other videos okay for now we'll have a configuration file let's try to get the values from there and let's try to update the value and update multiple values okay so yeah that is what i'm going to do here let's say i have a username let's say user one okay and password as um, let's say password okay as of now let's say i have not given any password okay uh, any role given let's say role as let's say i have given true okay some random values i have given okay and uh, let's say like uh, like uh, time time off as okay likewise i have few random values if you see here this is my static value and uh, there is no value here and i mean sorry this is my string value this is a boolean this is something like integer okay let's see how we can enable you know uh, how we can get those very efficiently okay so i have my application properties file in the resource and you don't need to you know uh, point to, to this file guys okay our j will automatically scan your application and it will try to map your configuration you know application properties file to a variable called config okay then here get then you pass your uh the username okay this will come into let's say string username user name okay here you need to import this config okay this is coming from our j config okay then string uh, let's say password is equal to config dot get you have a default value as well here okay let's say password and default value as one two three okay likewise let's try to print them okay so username then password let me try to print this guy now you could see we got the username 
and password password is actually here it is empty so that is what it has taken let me remove this and since i have already set a default value here okay default value of one two three even if this particular variable password is not available in my application properties it will act as a variable is there and you know give this default value okay let's see that now you could see we got this properly now the next thing is we have a boolean variable how i can access that simple config dot get you have something called get bool okay and here also you have a overridden method which key and key with a default value okay so i am using the key one role then simply use boolean as role okay then role been defined here cool next we have time off as a um, integer right so how i can get that config dot get int and this is my time off okay so here i have int uh, int uh, you can define integer something called time off and here i have the time off so let me run this now you could see we got everything here here what i'm you know uh, trying to say is your uh, avaj config is smart enough to understand from the configuration file whether it is a string it is a boolean it is a integer or not this just similar to our spring boot application properties very much similar okay then uh, one more i want to give you know something like my list is nothing but let's say abc def uh, G H I okay, this is one I want to give, and there's a one more I want to give is let's say like um, you know path. Here you can define your system variables, environment variables as well. Not a big deal, okay? With the help of something like this, okay? Something like user dot uh will have like you know directory our path will be there right let me show you that variable uh, user dot home yeah like this user dot home okay so what will happen here is your avaj will automatically understand this and it will replace this user dot home value with the actual value okay that we will see first uh, string what is that uh, path right so we have config dot get what is that path is nothing but path right so path this is one then i have the list here this is my list right my list right so how can i define that config dot get uh, config dot list of okay what is that list name my list okay my list right okay here list of string my list uh, 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 sorry not for this 
this is for this let's import this guy list what util list i'm talking about yeah cool now now let's me print this fellow my list and path so basically what we are doing here is simple what we did we have created a list and we are trying to get that list from the application properties directly this is my list okay and we are going to see how the environment variables are going to change automatically here okay those things we will explore here let me run this guy yeah now you could see the path is automatically got it and the list as well we have got properly here right so yeah this is very useful you know if you want to use it this is one then is there any way to update my configuration so basically what we are doing until now we are getting the values right but how about updating them well we have the config get right similarly we have the config set as well very simple right config set config dot set property okay let me try to set password uh, i will see username okay username to what value let's say like user 34 okay and this once it is set um, let me keep this before and copy paste it to after as well okay one second yeah so copy paste it to after i am updating only username right so yeah. now if i run this what will happen now you could see okay we are setting but we are not getting actually so we are setting here then now let me run this guy now you could see we are getting and the value been set here properly and that value been handled here so this is how you can set a variable okay other property but is there any better way to set multiple yes we have right config dot there is something called builder okay event builder and you can give some name to it you know updating values something like that here i have put key value pass then i can have one more and once everything is done you can publish okay how many ever you want you can add it here okay let's say like for uh, password i want a value of password and for role uh, something called time of let's say like time of let me update it to, to 2000 okay similarly you can take different values likewise you know likewise you can update how many ever you wanted okay then when you are trying to access them again whatever the updated value will be reflected right so let me show you that huh. so if I do this what is happening is
yes now before and after there is a difference guys now you could see uh, password and username both been changed and uh, 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 here password I have changed and username I have changed and time off I think I have to set something like this I believe likewise we have to keep give me a minute yeah so uh, how to put this I'm not sure how to update the integer values here I think it is expecting maybe what I can do is string dot value of 2000 something like that I can get but uh, I think you can experiment from here on not a big deal guys so this is how we can update the multiple values as well okay I'm um, unable to do this because this is an integer type right so even I need to see uh, one second maybe I'm giving the wrong name time of I think it should be small huh. if I do this what will happen Uh, 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 yeah yeah now you could see we got properly right I uh, given the wrong key name okay let me try to set this is I did right let me try to keep it like this what will happen yeah let me execute this guy now so this is a small demo guys how we can yeah now you could see we got it right how we can get the different you know uh, values from the system properties either you can use properties or you can use the yaml file using our j library uh, yeah this is what it is thank you so much for watching thank you it's me karthik